Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all girl, this fucking chair is so annoying. <laughs> no, I um eating grace. Baby one more time. Oops, I did no baby one more time. Oops, I did it again. Brittany in the zone greatest hits my prerogative. Blackout circus femme fatale Britney Jean Glory. Don't take it out on the chair, bitch. You, you, you've had this chair for so long. All you have to put is a little bit of oil, but you're fucking lazy, so you don't fucking do it. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having the most incredible day. Am I having a nervous breakdown? No, bitch. I am thriving, okay? Um, listen, welcome back. Happy 2023. Sorry you had to see that very uncomfortable interaction with this chair. And you know what? It is what it is. Um, I hope you guys are having a really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, I'm your new messy best friend. If you haven't noticed already, bitch, it, it is what it is, okay? Um, grab a snack and a drink. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button it helps me out so much don't forget to also give this video a like and turn on the notification bells bitch can you see my nipples every time i wear this shirt i feel like you can see my nipples but anyways um we have to talk about miss britney mother spears queen of pop queen legend um tmc is reporting that britney spears is selling the new house that her and sam bought um right around the wedding and they are staying in their older house um, so this is what TMZ says, and then we got to talk about it, okay? Because I have some theories, and I also think I have some tea. So let's just, let's just, let's read this together, okay? So it says, Britney Spears wanted to start a fresh... <laughs> Britney Spears wanted to start fresh in a brand spanking new house to celebrate her freedom from the conservatorship. But turns out the grass ain't always greener, and she's planning on unloading the pricey pad. TMZ broke the story back in June. Britney and her hubby Sam plunked down $11.8 million back in June for a massive 11,650 square foot home on 1.6 acres in Calabasas. In fact, the home was located in the same neighborhood as Brit's ex Kevin Federline, where is, you know, that's where her children live. Um, however, sources close to Britney tell the, tells us she hadn't, she just hasn't fallen in love with the new home and is planning on selling it in 2023. It says, but don't worry, Britney Spears won't be homeless. She still owns a Thousand Oaks mansion she bought back in 2015 for 7.5. The same place that boosts one of the most iconic living room backdrops on social media. It says, unclear, Britney will decide to start searching for another new home or if she'll just stay in the OG crib. But she'll have plenty of money free up when she unloads the new crib. Um, okay. So I have a lot to say about this, right? And you might be wondering like, girl, it's just she's just selling a new house. No, listen, it for me, it's a lot more because you buy a house, right? And you buy a house, $11.6 million. That's a lot of money, right? So this is right around the time where the conservatorship ended. She's gonna get married. Like it's a really happy time in her life. So she sees this home. It's next to Kevin, you know, close to Kevin, close to her kids so she can see her kids. And all of that is amazing, right? When when this, all these news things, all the, the news articles were coming out about all these um, things that were happening with Brittany, I was so happy to hear. I was like, oh, wow, a new home, closer to her kids, getting married. Like, you know, it was so nice. It felt like such a great time in her life. Then flash forward to now where we are every single day, we are listening and we are hearing and seeing new developments where the fans are worried. Um, everyone seems to be having an opinion about Miss Britney. And not only that, but you know, some conspiracies I do believe are not that far fetched. Is that how you say it? Um, Britney Spears, in my opinion, wanted that home to be closer to her kids. One, wanted that home for a fresh start. Two, wanted that home to build new memories. Three, wanted that new home to leave that older home where she had to suffer so much. Four, when we started seeing Britney back in the new, in the old house doing her spinning and dancing videos and modeling videos, a lot of people started to wonder, I don't, you know, in the beginning people were like, oh, they're just remodeling there. It's under construction. That's why Britney's there. But then, we still see her till this day in this, you know, older home. And we have seen Sam in the newer home, right? So that just sparked up so...
that sparked up some, you know, a lot of things because we were like, girl, you just bought an 11.8 million home. Girl, you better go to your new home, right? So I have a theory. I have a theory. So my theory is the following. I think that Britney thought that once the conservatorship was over, she was just going to be able to jump ahead and move forward and forget the past and everything, right? And I really do think that she thought that she needed a new place, she needed new new neighborhood, she needed new everything, right? But I think that reality sank in and two things could have happened. She could have really seen that her children want nothing to do with her in the at the moment. Uh, thanks to Kevin Jobless Federline. And two, I think that she realized that maybe she just cannot take up such a new project. You know what I mean? Taking up a new project, like a new home, um, it does it does call for a lot of energy, a lot of, um, you know, uh, detail, a lot of patience, a lot of, a lot of a lot, right? Because when you move, it's a lot of stress. And I think what Brittany is doing now is what I can at least feel in my heart is that I don't think that Brittany is ready to move on just yet. Um, I think that Brittany is still incredibly angry, hurt, um, uh, confused, traumatic. Uh, um, she has a lot of trauma, a lot in my opinion. And she has a lot of issues at the moment where... I don't believe she can move on. Girl, do I look like that old guy from Jurassic Park with the gay version? <gasps> I do, don't I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, um, with the hat. I think that Britney, I know that a lot of people have different, you know, different theories, different ideas uh, of what they think is going on with Britney. But in my opinion, I do think that something is not okay. I do think that Britney is going through a very difficult mental health um, stage in her life. I think that the trauma that was placed on her forcefully with this conservatorship, it really did a number on her to this day, of course. After you are put through so much horrible, disgusting, uh, traumatic situations like she was, I do believe that Britney has um, a lot of work ahead of her. I know that people are like, oh, she's coming back to the music scene. She should do an interview with Oprah. She should do this, she should do that. I think at the moment, the fact that Britney is still even here with us, I think that's enough. I think that a lot of people probably would not have been able to survive what she had to endure. Yes, bitch, me using big words, okay? Um, I really do think that Britney is uh, in need of professional help. I think, you know, and that, that doesn't mean anything, that, that's not a wrong thing. You know, before you used to, it, that used to be like an insult, like, girl, you need professional help. I think nowadays everybody needs professional help and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that when you go through a situation and you need to um you need to get better, you need to you need to heal, you need to do all these things, you have to put in the work and you have to see a professional. Um I I want to believe that everything is okay with Britney, but I really don't think it is. And I can't sit here and lie to you and say like, yeah, I think she's okay, she's this. I really, I truly don't think she is. I think that there is definitely a lot of things going on. And I had, like I've said in previous videos, I feel like I have had these rose colored glasses on and and and, 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 and wanting this fairy tale life for Britney and, and trying to make myself believe that everything is okay. But um, it's time to be realistic and it's time to not be so naive and understand that there is definitely something going on. Um, and I think that a new home right now, this huge new project is not up in the cards. So I think that with this, uh, I think I will take it either, I mean, you can take it either as a good sign or a really bad sign. The bad sign is that she's not ready to leave that, that home where she had to uh, endure so much uh, abuse and it probably is filled with horrible memories for Brittany. Um, you would think that the logical thing would be to move and to leave that behind. You know, I know that if I had, you know, a really bad time at a place, I would never want to go back there. But again, we don't really know what is going on with Brittany. I don't think anyone knows what's going on with Brittany, not even, you know, desperate press Hilton. So, you know, um, I think that I don't know how to, I like, I don't know what to think. I don't know if this is a good thing. I don't know if this is a bad thing. Um, 
personally i think that i would love to move if i had to uh if i had the option to move and to leave a place where i was um crying myself to sleep every night and had to uh and had to um and was placed so much forceful trauma on you know what i mean so I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and um, I'm going to do more videos. I'm going to do more videos uh, because there's a lot of tea, bitch. I just saw, a I just made a list of everything that I have to, um, that I want to tell you guys about that I have to film. And there's a lot of tea coming. So stay tuned, bitch, because girl, Sebastian Overload, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And me and the noisy ass chair say goodbye. Mwah. Bye.